Alright guys, welcome back to the quarry. Today we're playing uh, chapter 7. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. And then after this, it's all new stuff to me. After, after this. But, yeah, um, this chapter is a lot of cutscenes, like a lot of cutscenes and dialogue. Uh, yeah, we have, of course, the vision of Laura with the screwed up eyeball. I'm putting a needle in. You know how it go. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. Yeah, I'm not, still not sure exciting would be the word that I'd use, but uh, it's something, alright? Here we go. Put in. Look at the pass that I have. I don't see anything about a. Uh, none of these went off when Emma got bit. I don't think so. Playing with fire. Found the rabbit hole. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was like our mistake. The first one, never arrive early. <laughs> All of life's problems can be easily avoided by just not showing up early. Hell, blame the truck on time if you have to. <laughs> And I know his name is Travis because there's a uh, the subtitles in the prologue telling <laughs> me that. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. A very scary interrogation. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were we headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Mac? No. I ask, you answer. Dude. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well, 
He seems su surprised that uh, he complained. Why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Yeah, mm. but the uh, high school seniors, you know how it be? I guess I'm not high school seniors anymore, but... North Kill County Sheriff. Be intrigued. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? I mean, he's Please. losing his patience, but I don't want to piss him off even more, you know? Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. us back and then yeah. hey hey you asshole so didn't lash out first time around so what the, what the fuck's going time? on what? I know you hear me Yeah. I mean, I'm. Wait a minute. I'm kind of all mixed up, but. So they change back, right? More or less intact, so I think. That means is that they Laura? change back? Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and. Stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? You didn't even process that earlier. I was... Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. I didn't realize that earlier. Is that what he used to try to get you to talk? The back. Pincher, the blade? Three hole punch? No, it, it wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Dude Max. does not look at maps. Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and. Max some clothes. Let's get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each nope, other? But I don't care if you said you can or not. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's your free country, Officer Oat. For brain. <laughs> Buddy. 
dance through the bars. Come on. There go Max's hands. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. I don't really understand the whole good boy part. Hey. But... Stop struggling. Oh, hey, leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said, shut up! I mean, it's a in his power. Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Indeed, there is. That's not useful to us right away. What is a poem? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Spoon. Ew. Spoon? Oh, do I have to look at the brick first to pick up the spoon? Hmm. Alright, then I thought I could uh, save me a wee bit of time, but apparently not. We yeah, need a spoon for the loose brick that we, uh, we can't pull out on our own. Not a chance. I need some sort of like lever. a spoon. But I have to look at that first for some reason. And now she'll take the spoon, thankfully. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Yeah, I don't really understand why she's using the spoon like that. Like, yes. why not put it in lengthwise and then just pull like that? It's like a much, uh, much more obvious and easier way of doing it, but... What do I know? I'm not a... Teenager who got kidnapped by a dirty cop with... Monsters on the loose. Trying to get to my job a day early. <laughs> It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. And that's a threat, ain't it? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Sweary dude, just <laughs> Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He uh he just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and 
I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were that feeling? He yeah. Why, well, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Maybe really? it's because Laura didn't turn into a uh, man-eating monster. That's a possibility. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Ooh. Oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris <laughs> Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? My man did not pay attention to anything at all, man. apparently. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? I don't know, man. Some sort of setup, man. Simple, like really. some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett. There's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big jump. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Yes. Yes, we are. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Is a good point. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're gonna. Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Triple in paradise. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Pathetic, you know. And I need to get. I'm sorry, more Max. This, this really sucks. I mean, you know. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. You fucked up. Might as well make amends, right? You know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know, you can talk to me about mm. anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Let's go. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, 
Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already mm -hmm. knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. It was. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. It healed him. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. <laughs> yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. If I, you prefer not. Are you out of? Even if it's not a werewolf. Goddamn mine. It's at least a name werewolf? to go. It's Seriously? at least a name what for the fuck? Picture, you know, it's a title. What? 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 What's so funny? I said. I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens. Time hopping. Ryan, right? Yeah. Really you want answers? Want answers? I've got answers. Like this, Interrupt you know? me again. You're on your own. Because they need to work together. Whatever. So if I, if I be rude and aggressive, would it really be asshole, so be crazy? crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick, with the thing on the roof, okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost story. How is it so different from your ghost story? Those, those, are, those are just cut campfire that. stories. Like, there That's has to be a rational always... explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. <laughs> and if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. She shows the missing eye. Just let Bro, me finish. See it. And you can what? decide for yourself if you believe me Bro, or not. I don't I wanna care. See the missing eye ball. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. Obviously. So here we are, back as Laura. I can't take this anymore.
It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a <laughs> plan. So we keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. That's really not you very helpful, Max. Everything? You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just, just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, hey, stop. Just one that's problem how it goes. at a time. That's how it goes. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so, so side, let's maybe. say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. Yes. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he yeah. don't even talk to us half the time. <laughs> I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Exactly. Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? No. <laughs> you... You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, the echo. Oh, come on, T Money. Lighten up, man. Luckily. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. <laughs> Really? Seven? We skipped a failure to comply. Trespassing. Dangerous driving. Breaking and entering. Resisting arrest. Endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that. <laughs> okay. See, Look, I don't understand. We never resisted There's no arrest. reason why we can't change things. Arrested us until he why does it all have to be so us, ugly all the time? You know? Oh. That's just the way it does have to be. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole. Max. We know what's going on. We know Max is a werewolf. Full moon's in a few Stop. days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, so you know. take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going Thank on? <laughs> Get the fuck I'm away not. from him! Come here. Shut up. Shut up. I love the way this dude says shut up. He's so funny. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it, 
until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask good next point, time then, point. dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. Put your position. Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Help Over. Help to trust us. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna get be pretty. Looks big enough for a but don't stick. worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Get that out. Just don't get too close. I'm just gonna pop your thumb out. Probably just slide your hand right out of that handcuff. Going to be painful as hell, but hell of a less painful than losing an eyeball. Max, here. Yeah. He also has. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, like I just did. don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Good, good. Max? Look at him. Max? Help me, what's going on? Perception. So much for depth perception. Indeed. That shit gone. Like, gone, gone. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Let's do. Anyway, I know we're evidence is and we're a very very interesting quiz so let me go ahead and pick up the evidence real quick it's just right over here and here it is so cease and desist. Are you hiding, to the Travis? Yet bona fide podcast. Talking about the episode about half its quarry. They're like, hey, yo, you better stop that. Probably so people don't go investigating the hag of Hackett's quarry and get killed by a werewolf. 
pretty, we're pretty good at it actually. Find a computer. Hello? Guess what? No password. Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Edward Benson. You've got. Wonder who they are. A bulletin board. You know, then we gotta go upstairs and get the, uh, And listen to Max. <sighs> Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. So we've gotta find a birthday and um gotta find a birthday huh. and um some Not kind of significant boy. item. Fifty six on the, uh, prediction we got. That means he was born in 1965. Man, my leg from the knee down is like completely asleep right now. It hurts. A chart of Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Police badge. And uh, that's all for this room. The extra model. It's got some good stuff for us. That's the password for the uh, July 7th password for the computer. But that's a weird ass calendar. It goes Thursday to Wednesday, not uh, not a Monday to Sunday, or a, like Sunday to Saturday, or a Monday to Sunday thing. You know, it's kind of a weird, uh, kind of a weird way to make a calendar, you know. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. <sighs> I need to lie down. Well, they are just not all the time. Hmm. Intermittent subtitles, that's a weird setting. <laughs> time. Okay. I'm gonna go stand up while she's doing this so I can get some blood flow back to my legs. Fuck yeah. I am 
back. <sighs> Were hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Quarry. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. Nick gets screwed up. But that's not the creepy part of this clue. No, 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 it is not. But this thing is the same computer from the title screen. Here it gets creepy. What's that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Hag of Hackett's Quarry is the same lady we've been talking to. Uh, between chapters, you know, with the, you know, the whole uh, tarot card thing. Plus, I mean, in the first, uh, in the prologue when they show it, she's in like a, what looks like some kind of carnival thing, or not carnival, like, tourist trap thing, my bobber. I don't know what the word for it is. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. But before sleep, we must put the needle back. Because otherwise they won't get caught. And there we go. Problemo solved. And now we go to bed. I don't really know how she falls asleep like this, but oh well. To each their own, I guess. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. Because we ain't leaving Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Brew some coffee. Then we can have a nice long little chit chat about what the hell's going on here, you know? What's this? An education. Watch. Job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor, uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here yeah. forever. At least you got some practice, right? You know. At least you got some practice. Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. 
You know? You know. Uh, <laughs> what? Love that expression. I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. It's such a funny... You're gonna have to be more specific. Yeah. Expression. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. Heck yeah, we are. We? I mean, we're we're about in the process, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go, we end. So how is your family involved? Excuse me. My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. Okay. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end Stuck of a rope. Down there. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's so, the point of that? Right, so you... What, is he not like his family or something? You're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, they, get, they give you a really stupid decision in a couple of seconds. I'm obviously uh, not going to go for it. It's a pretty dumb... Uh, Let's see how smart you really are. It's later, actually. Never mind. We get to poem. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. It's a really stupid option. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, Cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm. I, I was when I. Straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too.
So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. I wonder if you get a special ending for making me. sure that everybody gets infected. Yeah. Or killed. Because you're studying. Make sure that everybody's infected or dead. Do you get like a special ending? I haven't even started. Like, run. like make sure that Dylan. Well, you're the best option infected. I got. Make sure that uh. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? With, uh, uh, maybe it doesn't matter because Nick. maybe there's another way. Still happens. Whatever you believe, you know, before, there's got to be some science. Before you shoot him. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... I hadn't seen that. Himself. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. Exactly. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Okay, there we go. Chapter's just so long that I have to. Laura? I yeah? Split the recording up since I can only get to an hour on the PlayStation. And I saw what happened. Definitely got more than an hour or something like that. What more I did to your eye? Eight minutes left in the chapter. Yeah. Is it bad? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, pathetic. Because I try to be good people in this game, you know? It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. I said, let me in there. Chris! Stop. I know they're in there! Who? The counselors that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here, that's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? Chris is was a werewolf that bit Max. It's nothing. We can just sleep it up. Would have been a whole lot messier if I hadn't shot me. You shot me! I'm telling Mom. Take your lucky stars it wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And you those know hikers? It. That, that, that fucking... Journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? 
No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? Me. I mean, I guess, <laughs> thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. Oh, wow. It all makes yeah. sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... You have to kill Chris to cure him. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? We get out of here, kill Chris Hackett. Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Okay, now here's my question, okay? Here's hey, my question. hey! Help Is... her! Laura needs help! Does it change, right? Like, if we kill the oh. little thing, Laura. Kid Chris. Laura, are you okay? Back to the person, does that cure Max as well? Damn it. Does that cure whoever Max bit? The chain? We kill the very first in the chain. We kill this white wolf. What the hell's going on? Does it cure everybody that bit it and that bit other people after that? How does he not see the needle? I don't know how he can see that. A little too late for him to do anything. I think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. That we should. Go back to the thing, go to sleep. We should grab our stuff. Up the needle. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Maybe I'll test that in another playthrough. What is it? No. I thought I heard someone. Something was in here. No, I, I still can't. I definitely want to see what happens if I make everybody get infected in one playthrough. It's coming from behind that door. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Shepherd and werewolf hunter is hunting werewolf. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. Yeah, we are. Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. Alright. Once 
Chris Hackett is dead. We are free to go. Alternatively, what if we don't kill Chris Hackett and instead. And we, I um, made my way here to camp. Chris, left, Ma the, uh, left Max at the island. Kill. Seemed like the so, best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there honest. now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. That we do. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um... I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But, but he wasn't, was he? Here is Max. Just not the way she wanted to Max? find him. Ah! Hello? He's a human centipede. <laughs> so the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee, ha Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Maybe sure the only way to get trust, He right? tried. Yeah. I got away. I need to end this. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to flip the floor. We're really blaming for that, you know? I mean, we just showed him that we've been bit by a werewolf. We don't have much time. But 
in the end, he's gonna have to believe me. Smell good, don't I? Must be four pages. Go on, take a bath. Come on. So Dumb they just fucking do animal. Why don't they just do this before they turn into a werewolf then? Right, like if it's their family member is. Right, yeah, if it's their family member, don't they just. Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Yeah, it's their family. Why don't they just like... <laughs> please let me go! Okay! I need me for this to happen, please! In the cage. Please! Yeah, oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh! Is your, is your money that you want? Because my dad's got money. And lots of it. I mean, I mean, not really, but you can get some. Probably. <laughs> just let me go, please! I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! That's too Bobby. There's two to get, so they get naked. And Jake, but... Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! This is a bad situation. This is also a pretty good situation. He's protected by a lot of people on all sides, so I'm not going to be able to get to him. There's no way that he's like easy psychologically, you know? To be by myself. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Thank you. Actually, nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. Fair enough. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. All right. Well, that was chapter seven of The Quarry. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a pretty darn long one. But I do have an interesting theory. And it's all in the uh, clues. And it's, um, where is it? Ah, the damaged memorabilia. Wait, no, it's not that. Broken cage. No, it's not gonna show up. Well, that kind of ruins my, uh, my thing. Okay, well, all right then. Is there? The white whale. Oh. Yeah, why would I have shot Travis, man? I guess none of the clues are evidence loading. It's a little weird. Let's try it now. There we go. Now it'll work. Yeah, the broken cage. It says, uh, it says something about Silas the dog boy. Now. 
the Hag of Hackett's Quarry, which if I'm correct is that old lady who's like helping us out. But if I'm correct, then I don't think I can, I don't think she's uh, a very um, objective uh, character. I think she's uh, biased. Because it seems like she, uh, the truth that last part about her like, yelling at us to not, uh, not believe everything we hear really makes it seem like, uh, you know, she doesn't want us to do anything to this white wolf. So if that white wolf is Silas, and Silas is her son, then obviously she's not going to want us to do anything to him. So she might not be as uh, objective as uh, was once thought. She might be a little biased about not killing her son and stop something about making them pay for killing them. So I don't really know. <laughs> it is all of a speculation. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out in the next chapter. So, yeah, as always, stick around. I hope you had a good one.